The child sex abuse case involving a Hilton Elementary School principal is horrifying. But it's a subject Sarah Van Strydonk deals with every day. She's the chief of the Child Abuse Bureau in the Monroe County DA's office, and she's taking the lead in the Hilton case. This week, we sat down to talk about her job and the emotion that comes with it. And I walked away understanding that doing what she does requires a passion for the work. I want to be here because, in my opinion, this is the place where if you could stop child abuse, then I think you could stop all the other things that are happening out on our streets, right? So the violence, I think that the violence, the, you know, repeat sexual offenders, um, I think that would all go away if you could somehow fix child abuse and um, fix the way our community treats our kids. How did you find this specific avenue of law? My father um, was a practicing lawyer for my entire um, time I was a child all the way um, through high school and then he became a judge when I went to college and my mother on the other hand um, was a working mom my whole life um, and she worked her way through the child protective services in Monroe County from being a caseworker all the way up to retiring as an administrator so I like to think my job here and working on child abuse cases specifically is just the perfect blend of both of them you're taking some of what my dad um, did in the legal field but also some of the social worker elements of um, what my mom did and the things that my mom instilled in me um, as um, what's important to teach your kids and to how to help the community. There must be a huge amount of reward in helping to close some of these cases. Is there one that stands out to you? I, I, I mean, I think I would be um, missing the big picture if I didn't say Brooke Stagels and her death um, and how that impacted um, me and how it impacted the community. Um, that was a huge case. It was hugely reported in the media and I think rightfully so. Um, everybody was interested in the outcome of that case and everybody was interested in it I think because um, of the opportunities that were missed to help that child along the way from from all sorts of different people and I'm not pointing fingers I'm just saying you know you saw the amount of people that saw her in the days leading up to her death and that could have saved her right and that didn't so I think that always had a big impact on me. How does the uh, Hilton case compare to what you've been dealing with for years? In generality, first, if you have a like a high profile media case, right, that is a whole other ball game, right? Teachers and pastors and and religious leaders and, and principals, we put them on a different level. We trust our kids with them. And so I think that also, you know, means something different when you're, you're prosecuting these cases. We talked about a whole lot more, and you can watch the full interview over in the Adam interview section at rochesterfirst.com right now.